Hey everyone, this is Wei. Welcome back. Let's do a quick drawing of Deadpool in a three minute drill and I'll take the rest of the time to finish it out. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, three minutes starting now. Okay, make sure everything's in frame. Okay, sketch in. I think three minutes should be okay for like a really rough, roughing in of, a, of the body. Okay, see this, this. Shoulder pads coming down. Just kind of trying to get the overall proportions correct. And then I can go back. All right, let's go back to the head. Got to get some of the details in for the head or else it would be really bad. <laughs> All right, let's see. So at least there's no not a lot of facial features, so it's a little bit more doable. Eyes right around there, chin coming down, neckline. All right, let's go back to the shoulders again. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay, let's go. Let's go down more. Let's keep going. Here's the belt and these little pockets. Let's go down this arm. Comes down here. And now I'm re just kind of readjusting some of the stuff. Okay, this is a pattern here. Let's see. Yeah, this is almost almost a life drawing, but it's a lot more little stuff. Let's see coming down. Okay, let's see her. Right. Hey, I should get some extra time, right? I gotta check the camera. All right. <laughs> All right, obviously I can't draw the hand, and but it'll be enough to just kind of, you know, give the direction of the gun. And then here, hands coming down, measuring this way. And then the guns, got fingers here. Again, not much time. So that should give me, all right, that should give me like a really rough, now let's see what else I can do within this time. Maybe a little bit more detail overall. Jesus, three minutes is fast. Okay. Time just kind of flew by, didn't it? All right, line, line. Sculpture. Yeah, this is a very cool pose. And it's sword on the back. Yeah, that's not important. <laughs> right here. And I think that's it. Jesus, that was three minutes already. Seriously, that just flew by. Yeah, there were times where I was kind of pretty into this, so I, I totally lose track of time. So three minutes, this is what I can do. Uh, which is okay. I mean, it gives me like a nice base to continue on. So let's just let's just do that. Uh, let's just keep going. All right, uh, starting back on the head. Let's just start shading. And I am using a six. Uh, this is a four B mechanical pencil. Just holds the lead. I know you guys. A lot of you guys have asked about this. But if you watch my other videos, I talk about this pencil a lot. All right, so let's just go for it. Now that I have some of the placements in. So this is black, so I'm just gonna sh give it a, a shade. Let's see, am I in camera? All right. So this is not a big drawing, and since I'm drawing the, kind of all the way to the waistline, I have to draw a little bit smaller so in terms of shading, it will be easier, uh, a little bit quicker. Let's see how I'm gonna do it here, okay. So yeah, you know, if you guys have problems uh, shading, and I've seen that in some of the examples with, you know, with, that you guys sent me, um, one of the issues is sometimes you draw too big, and what happens is when you, when you draw too big, you're shading, you know, it's really hard to shade large area, it's just, it's just more difficult. 
and especially if your uh, your drawing is kind of smooth and the lighting is kind of you know very even, it's rather difficult to to shade like um, like a broad area smooth. So it's actually better uh, if you're having problems shading, just do shade small. You know, very good. Uh, it's like this, right? It's how small it is, like like for this collar right here. I mean, just just a few strokes and and that does it, right? That just gives it some shading. So it's a lot easier, you know. Just just try it out some of these sometimes. Draw small. All right, let's see like this pad here. Let's see, I'm just gonna outline the the lighting here. There's a ver you know very good lighting with the rim lighting on the back, and then I'm just gonna shade that in. Shadow underneath. I hit that heart. See, very, very simple. Uh, very direct. There's, the, there is his belt coming down. So I'm just gonna shade that again. Just turning my pencil a little bit to so get a slightly harder edge. I'm gonna push that in. And then we got the let's, right, let's start on this side. Since I am right-handed, I like to start on this side. So that I can see what I've drawn. So if you're left-handed, you know you might want to start out this side first, and so that you can use you know whatever you've drawn as a comparison. So that way you can have lots of reference points. All right, let's keep going uh, down. Some folds, obviously, a lot of little details. So I'm gonna try to skip those because you don't need all that. You you just need some major, you know, just like one or two, and they'll they'll got that will give the illusion of it. And if you want to go back in later and put more, you can do that. Uh, there's a slant here. This is important. This is dark. This is dark. This is be un behind uh, this arm right here, I might just fade it out. I don't know, just for... Yeah, we'll see. So usually, you know, this part is more important. And so this arm becomes less important because it's further away. And you might be able to create some cool effects with it anyways. All right, let's do the belt. This is a cool belt. Again, lots of little details. If you can just kind of look at it and concentrate on what you're seeing and just, okay, here's a shape. Here's, a, you know, here's dark, dark. There's a line here and then a buckle. And then let's see, there's, there's one here. Let's, I'm, now I'm just kind of refining it, and then there's one here coming this way. Okay, and then once I have that, you can just kind of go in and start hitting it. Like this, darker. Some detail here. This is darker. Okay, and then underneath this looks like there's a couple of belts. There's another one here, and this is much darker, so I'm just going to hit that. See? <clears throat> so, it's... Uh, I'm just kind of letting my 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 pencil do the do the strokes, you know, do the detailing itself. As opposed to going in there and you know little lines like that, I'm just kind of shading in blocks. And that's what I love about these kind of quick sketches. Okay, this area right here is darker, but there looks like uh, some rim lighting here, so I'm just gonna outline that. All right, I'm just now I'm just gonna shade this dark. Once I have that, let's say I want to go in. Now I can go in and uh, put in some detail. Like underneath the arm, it's always dark right here, right? So we can see the arm. Because it's not catching any light. So I'm just going to go in, just like that. Something like that. So that, it's, it's messy, and, and I know there's some whites here. I should probably go in and do it now just so I can show it to you. So if I just dab it, dab this. Bring back some of the highlights. You know, now it feels like clothing. Uh, might be a little too abrupt, but I can go in and soften it up. Soften it up so that it's, it's a little bit more natural. Again, that's just a ma matter of detail. You know, the important part is actually hitting those, those dark spots. So that kind of gives it the, you know, the illusion that it's some kind of leather. And then here is some kind of design again let's not go into details too much so this part is dark I'm just gonna go back and here just kind of balance it out a little bit so 
Okay. All right. So that, these little details here, like this little lines, that's the kind of stuff that could get tedious. So now I'm just turning my pencil so I can get some sharper edges. This part is dark. I'm going back up to the face again. Because now that I made this dark, this feels like it's just not dark enough, right? So I'm going to do this. Darken some of this area underneath the eye right here. It's just dark. Turning my pencil around. So the eyes uh, area is pretty small. I might have to go in and, you know, to really look at it, add a little bit more detail. Some softer shading here. Okay, rim lighting, rim lighting. All right, let's do the shoulder pad here. Uh, okay, let's refine it a little bit. Checking the shapes. This line here comes all the way down. There's a bump here. Okay, so if I were to shade that, let's see. Uh, I'm going to look for, here's a terminator here, right? The light's shining through, light ends here. So I'm going to outline that, and then the rest can be dark because this is black and then this one this it's a little bit of shading here because it's rounded here on the shoulder so I'm just gonna flick it it's just gonna flick flick see so you can't let the strokes do the shading for you okay and then we go down <clears throat> to the arm armband just push in hard this is dark in here this is actually kind of dark too. Well, let's make this part inside a little bit darker. Okay, and then we're gonna go in. This arm. There's musculature here, and you know, I'm not that good with the anatomy. So I, I generally have to kind of actually look at, like if you're good at anatomy, you would know, you know, some of the mus muscular structures in here. And it, w it will help you shade. Uh, since I'm not that good at it, I actually have to look closely as to what it's doing. All right, here's the armband. Dark. Let's go back to uh, the pants area. All right, the hands, it's, it's a lot of detail. Uh, let's see. All right, let's, let's, let's try it. Let's try it on screen. All right. So here, dark, dark. Fingers here. Now I'm just kind of ref, uh, refining, right? So after the rough sketch, this is like the second stage, refining. You know, put in some more lines, refine, it, get the accuracy better. Now I can draw it in the gun. Okay. On screen, all right. Always have to check. All right. Now I'm just gonna shade. Some detail here. This is darker. I'm just going to assume it's going to be something like this. There's some details here. This side of the gun is darker. And then his glove. Dark. And then his fingers here. Lots of little detail becomes darker. So I'm just going to push into it. Okay, this is dark here. Dark here. It's kind of... Oh. Some detail, it's a little bit of folding going back to the wristband, darker. Okay, let's some straighter lines for the gun. Turning my pencil, get a sharp edge. Some darker shading here, here. Okay, let's see, some detail turning my pencil all right something like that so you can see it's just very rough uh, but it, you know it kind of fits the overall you know amount of detail and just for, for the rest of the drawing so everything kind of stays consistent now this part is dark here some folds going on in here okay all right so I might, let's see, I might go in and, and uh, do a little bit more shading, you know, like little things like that. And let's see how far, how much further I want to push this. 
I don't want to go too crazy. But it is a cool character. I'm going to definitely work more on this area. Bring it out. Maybe leave the rest uh, a little bit more sketchier. Okay, so I'm going to do this off screen, off camera. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I spent probably another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so just pushing it, adding some more details, kind of cleaning things up a little bit. So it's, it's still very rough, but overall, you know, it's got the shading in and it, it does look like Deadpool. So I guess it's getting there. And then down here, you know, same thing, just very rough. Uh, not a lot of details. So as long as you hit the areas correct, like if you look at it, you know, just hit those dark areas. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can actually omit and it'll still look okay. And that's, you know, that's the fun part about, about you know, these kind of quick sketches and so I can't fit everything in screen, so I guess you can see the whole thing like this. So I hope you guys like this kind of sketching. It's very loose, very fast, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.